Say it again. The only way to learn is to try. Say that whole thing again. <laughs> oh. So we're gonna go see about acorns. Um, there's a bunch of acorns down here underneath the tan oak, and I hear those are the most delicious. So I want to see what we can do about that. Google will be my friend tonight. That's wrong. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna go fill fill these up. We're gonna go. Um, I think you have to crack. The, what I think the process is, is you crack them, then you soak them, and we would just put those in the creek because you have to put it under wa running water. Yeah, the natives around here, this was created into their oak gardens, and it was their staple food. So I just, I really want to try. And uh, what was the last thing I said before that? Oh, hmm. the only way to learn is to try. This is the big tan oak tree, and you can tell it's a tan oak because it has these big serrated leaves, and it's got this fuzzy stuff on the bottom of it that's just, yeah, it kind of makes you itchy. Um, walking through it, big old beastly tree. up of the acorn nuts. Maverick has been cracking them. You want to show us, Mav? Yeah, I'll do some. Oh, there it is. What so, do you have there? Acorns. <laughs> So over here, as you can see, we are collecting lots of these little guys. And when you're going around and, and picking them up, because they're literally all over the place, but you have to look them over. Because every once in a while, there's one like this, it's got a hole in it. And this nut will be rotten inside or have a worm in it. So we don't want those, we do want these. Hey guys, I'm gonna do a, a quick video about nut cracking to so see if I can find good heavy nut. So more heavier it is, more better the nuts go be inside. This is a pretty heavy one. Let's see it. Using these just with rocks. See if I crack it. Woo! That right there is a good nut. Woo! Taking the rototiller up to be uh, all covered up under the rain.
All right, so it's still far from my dreams. <laughs> but all the walls are painted. We've got couches in the living room. I still need to build a shed for chicken feed, but I don't want any of the wild animals trying to break into it. Um, so it is still in here. I want the shed that hold, uh, a shed that holds not only the chicken feed, but also the deep freeze. So, still some more stuff to be moved out and still more stuff to be moved in, but this is where we're at and it feels really good to have some couches in the living room. I love couches. Are you ready for some Mario Kart? Yeah. So, it has been raining all day long. Pretty stoked on the rain. All right, folks. Right now, we are gonna paint the kitchen. So, got the oven pulled out. I just wanted to show you what it looks like behind there. It's gonna take a lot of degreaser. Oh yeah. Look at these greasy cobwebs. Just pretty gnarly. And this gnarliness. And I'm moving the oven because where it sits in this little nook right here, these burners are right next to the wall and it's scorching the wall. So as you can see where we stopped painting and that just this last little bit has to get painted right in here yeah How you doing? cleaning out the spot and just talking about what we're gonna do next here so we're gonna get a longer hose for the gas so that we can put our front in over here yeah on this side all the way over and right before it starts to block any light from this nice window and then that should give us room here. We can stand this countertop and have some more cabinets underneath and more counter space. But that's probably not going to happen first thing. Probably just extend it ghetto-ly at first. We'll still have some shelves and an extra spot to put stuff. And then one of these days, redo this whole countertop. Yeah, so for right now, we're just going to kind of put in something right there. I want to take out this whole thing. I want this whole thing redone, but it's just, uh, I'm not sure the time frame on that. Yeah, we're coming to the realization that things just aren't gonna happen as fast as we can dream them. So <laughs> we and... kind of just got to adjust to reality and day-to-day -day life stuff that you also have to take care of no matter what. So slowly but surely. We're keep, we're still dreaming though. Still dreaming, still dreaming and still plugging away day by day. All right, so you can see the hill behind me there does not have any smoke coming off of it. And that's a blessing. It rained for pretty much off and on and kind of heavy for hours on end for about 24 hours straight. So yeah, the hill is looking way better and really not that bad. The burn was more of a low intensity burn and just kind of thinned it up. And that's really what we want in the long run anyways. It still looks pretty covered. It's not barren. It wasn't a high intensity fire, so wasn't too bad, all in all. There's Jessica in her favorite chair. Oh, it's the best. The hammock chair. <laughs> mm. I could sit here all day. <laughs> so we've been down here for 
right around two months and I had never filled up my dad's truck since we've been here. So went to start it this morning to move it because the whole back of it's full of water and it wouldn't start, but it's turning over just fine. And it dawned on me like, oh, you haven't filled it up at all. So, um, and I don't know if the gas gauge works. It says it's on empty, but I think it always says that. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna fill it up the old fashioned way. Old gas can. And this is all water in the bed of the truck. So this truck, not only does it start every single time, it doesn't have keys, it has the squeakiest belts you've ever heard of. Um, it is like beat up, but old reliable. <laughs> it does everything we ask her to do. All right, coming through, cleaning. Look at that wall. That was the worst one. Man, now I'm gonna get that one. Can you see it? Oh, um, I, I couldn't even tell the GoPro was pointed at me. Here, let me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. What is it? Tuesday night? Yeah, Tuesday night. We haven't had power since about 10 a.m. So we have dinner on the stove. That's almost done. Luckily, we have gas stove. Yep. And um, we are just doing some coloring by candlelight oh. while yeah. we wait for dinner. Wait, what? Power's been out for about nine and a half hours. Oh, we have a fart surfer over here. Ooh, fart surfer. Yeah, can I show you? <laughs> here's, the fart, here's the fart surfer. Wow. Nice, nice artwork. <laughs> Never. So. So, so Just another Tuesday night here at Suntime Farm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we woke up, still raining, still don't have power, and we don't have ground coffee beans, and we have an electric coffee grinder. So, <laughs> luckily, we have a little mortar and pistol right over here, and we're gonna. Grind our own coffee beans this morning by hand. Should be fun. When we first heard that the power goes off a lot out here, I didn't realize like how often <laughs> the power went out out here. So I think we're at like almost 24 hours now, two days this week. We've come to realize that you're lucky if you have a whole week with power. We get excited. It's a big deal when a whole week goes by that the power didn't go out. <laughs> ah, but it's fun that we're testing ourselves. We're learning a lot about where, what our resilience level is. 